Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to focus on creating custom form fields in Activity. Basically, we're going to create these custom form fields to extend our Activity forms. You're probably asking yourselves, why should you watch this video? Here are a few questions to help you come to this answer. Do you need form fields beyond what is provided in the Activity Enterprise Editor? Do you still want to use the Activity Enterprise Editor? Do you want to make these custom form fields available to process designers? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then it probably makes sense to watch this video. Now let's get started. Here we are in the Activity Enterprise. Let's start by going into the Kickstart app. The first thing we need to do is create a new form stencil. Now let's name our stencil and select the editor type as form editor. As you can see, our new stencil starts us out with the default stencil. Now let's edit our stencil so we can add a hyperlinked image. To add a new control, click Add New Item. Let's name our item change its icon and give it a field width of 2. The form runtime template is used to display the form field to the user while the form editor template is to use to show that field in the editor. Note that parameters are not available in the editor so we'll keep it simple and static. If you need a custom Angular controller, you can edit it here. But we aren't going to do that in this presentation. If you need to import additional scripts, you can do that here by clicking the plus button. The only part missing now is how do we set our link location URL and link image URL. If we look back at the form runtime template, we see parameters for link location URL and link image URL. So now we need to add these properties. So let's click the Edit. Let's add a new tab for our image information. Let's name it Image and move it before the Visibility tab. Now let's add our properties to this tab. We have to make sure the ID of our properties matches what we have in our template. So let's enter link location URL as our name. And again, this has to match, remember, so link location URL. We also have to make sure we select the type, in this case, as text. Now we can save this property and create the image URL property. Now let's close our custom field and save our stencil. Now we need to test our new form field. Let's create a new process. Let's name our model and we're going to select the step editor this time. Now let's create our new model. Now let's create a form on the process start. Let's name our form and we have to make sure we select our custom stencil. Let's start by adding our hyperlinked image. Let's edit its properties we're going to start out by removing the label, because it doesn't really make sense for an image, and overriding the ID so we have something a little bit more unique. We can see the image tab we created and the properties we added. Let's use the activity URL and image for this.
Now let's close this. Let's add a few more fields. Now let's validate our form and save it. Now our process is complete. Let's validate our process and save it. Now we need to create and publish an app for our process. Let's name it and create it. Since it's for hyperlinked images, let's give it a link icon and select a theme. Now let's include our process and save our app. Make sure you click the Publish checkbox before you save. Now let's deploy our app and test our process. Now let's go into our app and start a process. We see our custom control right away in the start form. Notice that it shows the activity logo rather than the MicroStrategies logo. This is because the runtime template used the parameters while the editor template was hard-coded. If we click the image, it should open the activity website in a new browser tab. And indeed it does. So what did we do? We created a custom form stencil, added a new control to our form stencil for hyperlinked images, created a process with a start form to test our control, and tested our control. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. We appreciate your time and feel free to reach out to us and see how we can help you like we help our clients.